So first thing you need to identify and find would be the plug. Electricity is important. So you unwrap your plug and attach it to the... <laughs> The cord with the plug. The cord, all right. Ah, I, got I guess it's the cord that actually unravels. The plug just goes into the electricity. So plug it in and then try to turn it on. So the on switch, remember we identified before, right at the bottom. And what should happen is you get the little light that pops out from the bottom if that doesn't happen. Right? There are really two things you should do. A, make sure it's plugged in. Okay. And B, at the back of your microscope, which we just moved it, there's this like insertion of the other side of the plug that gets really loose easily. So make sure that that goes in so that you can um, get your light. Electricity. All right, so we've got our electricity. We've got, we've, we've moved a little bit. This is our awesome home video production here okay um, so now what you're gonna do is make sure that your stage is all the way down all right so the stage has been moved all the way down and that your 4x objective is right in place and locked if it's not locked you're gonna see a weird half moon thing and it looks funny okay so once you've got that then you're gonna get a slide now in lab we're gonna use two different types of slides one is a prepared slide this one will have a label on it and will pretty much be glued in place so these are important for us to keep these are permanent slides don't throw them away please please don't throw them away. Um, and the other thing we will be doing is making our own slides, which we'll show you in a separate video, using slides, cover slips, and materials for lab. <laughs> so now you're going to mount the slide. So when you mount the slide, I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, you're going to find your stage clip over there, the metal piece, it'll click. And if you're like me, you have fun doing this. It's just my fun times. I have. Like I need song. to be entertained. I like, I like okay. The song. So if you do this, then your your slide will stay very happily right on the stage, so that when you move those mechanical controls, the slide will be moving with them. If you set it on top or try to cram it underneath, this will not work out as well for anyone. So make sure that you are loading that in properly. And then the next thing you'll want to do is make sure the specimen is in the center of that iris or the um, the condenser lens. If you can see it. Okay, so again, I'm zoom in. Lots of great video qualities here. The E on this is centered right in the middle of the lens, so the, hopefully that will line up perfectly when you actually look through your oculars. So now, while looking through the oculars, you probably can see nothing. Because <laughs> on our scope, the stage all the way down is not going to get you to see anything we're looking for. So the first thing I would tell you to do is use that course objective, so remember the big fat one, and move that stage all the way up. I mean seriously, all the way to the top until it won't go any farther. Gently, please, gently. Um, and then you should be able to kind of see the blob. <laughs> From here, you can slowly lower the stage until it's in picture perfect view. And once you've got it most of the way, you can always use that fine focus or the outside knob that will pull that into picture perfect view for you. Now, depending on what you're gonna look at, you're not gonna see a whole lot. So it's gonna be important for us to zoom in. That's why we have these other objectives. We have a 10X and the 40. Now because our microscope is par-focaled and par-centered, we can fancily just move that 10X over and you should be able to see your specimen. And keep in mind, we don't want to do what when we move it over? What do we not want to grab when we, when we oh, are we shifting? We don't want to touch the lens itself. Yeah, we don't probably microphone. want to crank on the objectives. These, these do tend to snap off if you really Yeah, so if them. we use that little nose piece at the top, just as Liz is doing for us, it'll help us out a little bit. Otherwise, we, we'll break our nice expensive things. So don't touch the lens or the objective when you're doing this. So once you get it to 10x, you should be able to see your, in this case, the E, the specimen that you're looking at very ish well very so ish ish, ish. Yeah, ish well was very that totally well. contradictive <laughs> and then you'll use your fine focus again at this point you should never i will stop my feet 
ever have to touch the course objective again because of the fact that these microscopes are parfocal and par centered it's very easy to do so you'll just move that which will zoom in on our, our little specimen and once you get it picture perfect there um, we should be able to slide right into 40x again using the nose piece sliding over and because our microscopes are awesome you will not hit the slide with our 40x objectives a lot of people are worried that it's not gonna fit it's not gonna fit it'll fit uh, so then when you get there again don't touch the course objective ever again <sighs> I find focus only oh, and when you get your that. fine focus you should only have to move it just a bit most of the time in order to get your specimen into picture-perfect focus on 40x now as you move from 10 to 40 Liz what did you notice about the light <gasps> it Decrease. It decreased. It, it got, got dark. Dim. So oh, how can you fix the dimmer light? Well, I could increase the light by changing. <laughs> They're using the condenser iris dial. So remember, we have the diaphragm underneath. And there is also that little knob on the other side of the scope. You don't have to okay. turn it. They know where it is. It's on I'm hoping this it's side. on that side. <laughs> of the on so you will be able to open, turn on and off the light a little bit brighter. Because as you move up with magnification, three things happen. Light decreases, the field of view decreases, and our depth of field will all decrease so everything decreases as we move up with magnification so once you've looked at your specimen you'll know you should notice these things happening and you will draw whatever it is you need to because you should really draw them all better memory right exactly. and then you will need to clean off your scope and you remember this is your scope for the whole semester you need to take care of it even if the student before you doesn't right? so you are gonna have to reset everything back to start which means our objectives have to go back to the 4x where we found it hopefully your slide needs to be removed <laughs> yes please do and again if it's prepared don't throw it away please don't um, and then you're gonna lower the stage with the course objective lens all or lens the knob all the way down gently again um, and then you will turn off your scope unplug your scope <laughs> wrap that cord holding the plug right back up <laughs> very important very important the plug. so this doesn't whack you in right. the eye yes um and then get it fitted nice and happy in there and then one of the things especially if we used anything wet is to clean off the scope um, the oils that are on your hands your face etc can all hurt so we have um, two things that we use lens paper which is what Liz has there and lens cleaner so with the lens cleaner typically what I do is rip off some of that lens paper put a little bit of the lens cleaner on the paper it doesn't take much okay you're not cleaning a car okay you just gotta clean a couple pieces of lens here um, starting with the oculars because your eyes were touching that <laughs> the condenser lens just gonna clean the whole thing for real for you guys and then the so objective lens if you can hit them yeah, I know the 4x is really hard to get, but the 10 and the 40, because they stick out, you should wipe them down for us. And if there's any other spills you had, especially if you had a wet mount, it'll be nice of you to clean those up because these are, you know, what you'll be using and everyone else will be using for the whole semester. And then you will carry it nicely back to its numbered shelf. Or again, I'll take points off if you don't. <laughs> so, I'm with you, yeah, okay. So, nice little handle on the back. It's hand under. Yeah. Carry it nicely so that we can take care of them until I retire. <laughs> Which maybe never, but you know. Yeah. Here, here. <laughs> here.